Hello and welcome to this first year laboratory course for students of general science and engineering. And I'd like in this introduction to explain to you what the course is about. Well, first of all, it's not about your coming to the lab and whatever afternoon you come to confirm what it is that you learned in lectures. There are other avenues for that, tutorials and so on. What we teach in this course is something really specific. We teach experiment and reporting as well as measurement. Now these are skills that you'll need irrespective of which branch you go into. I think experiment speaks for itself as does the question of reporting. There are certain conventions that we use in scientific reporting and it's good that you figure these out. But what about measurement? Now you'll see that measurement is not a trivial process of using a ruler or some instrument to take readings. Those are merely readings, that's just data. Measurement is more than that. In the process of learning measurement in some formal way, we provide you with the tools to be able to say with some level of confidence how valid you believe whatever the result is that you may have achieved of, through some experiment or other. It turns out that this is a very important base from which to grow your understanding in the sciences. Because in all science, you need to figure out not only what you think might be the valid thing, but with what level of confidence can you quote the result of an experiment. The course has been very carefully put together to give you the basic skills that you require for experiment reporting as well as measurement. And to help you with this, we have produced a guide. In this guide, this is the guide to reporting and measurement, you will find all the detailed information that you need here. Please bring this guide with you when you come to the lab. Make sure you read through it, go through it carefully, ask questions about this. Remember that at the end of this course, you should be in a position to be able to answer the question, to what level of confidence can I quote the result of an experiment? Thank you.